So what did you do at the age of 16? When I was 16, I was at college. I was worried about my grades and also I was worried about the changes that I was going to face because my mum had plans for me to come to London. So she was doing all the paperwork. We didn't have a home church, so we used to visit lots of Christian churches. And because of that, I didn't have a relationship with God. What about you? What were you doing? Well, at the age of 16, I was also going to school. Um, we just started to get to know some churches, but so we didn't have a personal relationship with God as a family. Uh, but at the same time, my father was in prison at the time, so we were all waiting for him to come home. Did you know that King David was chosen to be a king in his teens? Yes. If you look at the Psalms, all of them are like a mirror to his life. And they show his, his trials, his tribulations, his doubt, his sadness, and that through all of them, he found his purpose to praise and worship God, no matter the circumstances. Yes, in Psalm 121 says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. David, his psalms and all the other psalms are a great example of God how can use us, our talents, our lives, even through our circumstances, our problems and doubts and failures. So let us serve him and worship him and praise him, just like David did. Even though we didn't have a home church at that time, my mum used to pray a lot and she used to sing Psalm 121 in Spanish. So I learned it by heart. And since then, it's been such a blessing in my life. So I want to encourage you to read a psalm every day and meditate in, in them. Yeah, so if we read the rest of Psalm 121, for example, David finishes, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. And he will watch over your life. The, the Lord, Lord will watch over, over your coming and going, going both now and forevermore. God bless Amen. you. Brilliant stuff. Thanks so much, Mauricio and Sandra. I'm Daniel Daly. This is Liz Daly. This is Mina Daly. Um, yeah, it's really encouraging to hear how uh, God is uh, moving across the seas and how everyone's got their own individual stories um, and how God sort of moves these stories together. At present times and what's such a time as this um liz can you uh can you talk about how you growing up have learned sort of psalms over the years yes um hi everyone i basically learned the psalms through music growing up mm. um every week in church i was a uh, raised a lutheran so every week in church we used to sing the psalms mm. um well one psalm so in particular, Psalm 46 is a very memorable one to me. And that's because of the verse Psalm 46, 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress, which brings back a very, very familiar tune to me. And not only that, it's a very powerful verse. So for me, yeah, I, I remember them through through music. Um, all, all Many of them in the most powerful ones for me, uh, which we all use the Psalms in times of trouble or at any time, really, every day. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my story. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so much in the Psalms. I mean, growing up, uh, I used to go to my granddad's house, who's a, a minister himself, and uh, he used to make us memorise the Psalms. And if we mm -hmm. didn't, uh, we weren't allowed to go out and play. <laughs> um, so you can imagine that um, I learned a few um, over the years. But these Psalms, it's really, have really sort of been a bedrock and um, really sort of helped me to understand and and know who God is, and there's so much mm. in the Psalms that we can that we can pull from um, in different times as well. And, and you know, with all this stuff going on around us at the moment, mm. I think these are just so apt. Uh, so, Ablaze, um, I'm talking to you now. Uh, what I want for you guys to do over the next coming weeks and this week in particular is really to start meditating and praying over a Psalm of your choice uh, in the light of being able to share in one of our Zoom meetings. Uh, what what you sort of gotten from the from the psalm and how you can encourage the rest of the group as well. So yeah, just to to meditate over it, pray over it, uh, pick the psalm of your choice can be any psalm, and then really have something to share with the rest of the group. Okay, brilliant.